Okay, so I realized that Martina's really dominating this Open the Happy channel with her videos about makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna talk about something more manly. Here are my thoughts on Iron Man 3. Is it gonna be Iron Man 3 with makeup? No. Oh. Spoiler alert! I came into this movie expecting a lot of stuff. I loved Iron Man 1, but I hated Iron Man 2. And afterwards, I really got into Marvel Comics Hardcore and I started reading tons of them, including a lot of the Iron Man and Avengers series. I also heard that Josh Whedon said really great things about the ending of Iron Man 3, so I figured that if Josh Whedon said it, the same guy who's behind the Avengers movie, then I'm gonna trust him. I'm not disappointed in trusting him because this wasn't a bad movie. But I left kind of thinking, yeah, it was all right, but I didn't run out of the theater yelling holy fuck, that was awesome the way I did for the Avengers there are a few problems with it number one the main villain didn't really have any purpose in the movie apart from being an annoying ass he wanted to kill the president so that the vice president could take power But then he needed to set up this front so that the terrorists did it so that the vice president could send more money to this Anti-terrorist network of aim or something like that. Did he really need to set up such a convoluted plan? How about you run up into the White House and kill the president? Bullets can't stop you. You breathe fucking fire run up in that shit burp on some mofos and karate chop the president in half like he did the Iron Man suits then you might say oh, but he needs the front of being the arms Dealer so the vice president could do something. Then why don't you set up a fake company and put someone else's name on it but still karate chop the president? How satisfying would that be? I don't know, that whole part was confusing. And then the bad guy had some really bizarre relationship with Tony Stark so that he kidnapped Pepper so that he could get Tony Stark to work on the formula but then he tries to kill Tony Stark. Why not kill Tony Stark when he was tied in the basement? You might say, oh he didn't kill him then because he wanted Tony to finish the formula. Well if you wanted Tony to finish the formula, you know what? Throw Throwing helicopter missiles at him and blowing up his house with him inside of it is not a good way to start that kind of business relationship. He almost died. In fact, he could and should have died. Did you want to kill him or did you want him to work on the formula? What was your purpose in this movie, bad guy whose name I can't remember? Or maybe you were just mad at Tony for standing up on New Year's Eve in 1999. And maybe just making up this whole plan to, for some sick revenge. But really, how else should Tony have treated you back then in 1999? Remember how the situation went. He was about to get some sexy times and then you barge in on the elevator and start yammering about ideas and shit. Did you ever hear of timing? This is New Year's Eve of 1999 and Tony's about to get some ass and then you run up in the elevator like Smeagol and creep the fuck out of everybody. How about you call in on him next week? Be like, hey Tony, I got an idea. I saw you on New Year's Eve. I didn't want to bother you because I knew you were about to get some action. That would be the civilized thing to do. I don't know. The whole bad guy thing was just stupid. Otherwise, my general disappointment with this movie is that it should have been called Tony Stark rather than Iron Man. Too much time was spent in recharging Jarvis and that's not really what I wanted to see in this movie. I wanted something like Avengers. I wanted Iron Man flying around and destroying giant space worms throughout New York City. I don't want to see Tony Stark going to Home Depot and running around with a pimped out garden hose, you know? That was cool and all, but it wasn't what I was expecting. And I'm only disappointed because of the context of the awesomeness of Iron Man. Another question I have about the movie, it's actually the whole end scene that was a giant clusterfuck. Right at the beginning of the end scene, he runs up to the compound with Rhodey, but I'm not sure why he didn't call his whole array of Iron Men sooner. He almost got a bunch of bullets in the ass, and then he calls the Iron Man fleet. How about you go there with a suit on that's bulletproof so that you don't risk getting bullets in the ass? Here's another idea. How about you tell Jarvis not to let the other suits get too close to those crazy ass soldiers who want to rip off Iron Man heads? Uh, Jarvis set to cherry picking mode. Pew, 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 pew. That's how it should have gone from a distance. Just shoot them. Another thing that didn't make sense, since when did this formula that can regrow limbs, why does that make assholes out of people? I got my limbs back and now I'm gonna be a giant dick. Sure, I understand that these guys might be dependent on AIM so that they keep them regulated so that they don't blow up in public, but if I was one of them and shit started hitting the fan and one of the fucking heroes of the planet who saved your planet from alien invasion a few months ago, if you saw him throwing down, I'd be like, holy shit, I'm out of here and I would let my fire breathing boss take care of Tony Stark. I wouldn't get a hard on for ripping apart Iron Man suits. I mean, come on, this guy saved your planet. You are about to die. Your family was about to die from those giant goddamn space worms. Don't you remember? I saw the movie, you saw the movie, you were there. But now you get your arm back and a few fingers and you're like, well, time for me to kill this guy who saved the planet. Remember when he took a nuclear bomb and he shoved it up the ass? 
asshole of space and destroy the fleet? Why do you want to kill him now? That didn't make any sense. Another thing. Hey, Tony Stark. Why not wait till you're home and then blow up all your toys? Save one of them at least. Hey, Jarvis. Commence flying my ass back to safety. Don't blow up everyone while I'm still on this boat that's on fire. Step two. Once I'm home, then you can blow all my shit up. Okay, that's it for now. I'll write more about it on our site. So check that out if you're interested. I want to talk more about the source material for Iron Man and whatnot for all of you comic nerds who read as many comics as I do. All two of you who are watching this. Nasty Men Unite.